In this tutorial, we'll use the new BCC6 Swish Pan Filter to transition between a pair of clips in Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. Editors use transitions as a way to cut between scenes, typically creating an animated effect such as a dissolve or blur at the end of the outgoing clip and the beginning of the incoming clip. While most modern NLE systems ship with a list of standard wipe transitions, there are some transition styles that are more of an in-camera effect rather than the stylized gradient wipes or block dissolves. One of these effects, known as a swish pan, is created in real life by panning the camera very quickly in a 180 degree arc, thereby creating the look of a fast blur between the outgoing and the incoming clips. It is a widely used effect. I challenge you to watch TV for more than one hour and not see at least one swish pan transition. Continuing in the tradition of making visual effects easy to create, Boris Continuum Complete 6 now includes a swish pan transition filter for registered users of the BCC6 product. So let's get started. In Premiere Pro, BCC swish pan is treated as a video filter, so we need to first layer our clips on top of each other. Make sure your outgoing footage is on top of the incoming footage. BCC swish pan is located in the BCC wipe transitions category of filters, and click and drag the filter onto the top clip. Okay, you notice an instantaneous horizontal blur in your preview window. That's because BCC Swish Pan loads with a default setting of 50% complete. Now there are two ways to animate the Swish Pan. You can use auto animation, or you can do it manually with percent done mode. Percent done mode requires you to animate your own keyframes, so I'm going to show you that way first. Okay, the first thing you have to do is change the layer to reveal pop-up from video 2 to video 1 which is the clip below our outgoing layer. Next, we need to change percent done. So let's scrub forward a little bit. I'm going to change percent done to zero and then create a keyframe. All right, now just scrub forward a little bit to where you want the transition to wrap up. Change percent done to 100 and that is pretty much it. Now as I step through the timeline, you can see that the filter has automated the transition between clips A and B. We can now see the forest for the transition. Alright, now let's take a look at the auto animation setting. In auto animation, the transition automatically starts on the first frame of your outgoing clip and ends on the last frame. Now this could be fine, but let's suppose you want to change it. To change auto animation, Twirl down the Animation Tuning group. This will reveal parameters for hold and ease for the start and end of the clip. Also, turn on the View Ease curve to get a visual representation of the transition. Now, let's increase Hold In and Hold Out. Notice the change in the Preview Ease curve. Let's also increase the Ease In and Ease Out. All right, this should give us a more gradual transition into our transition. Let's see how it looks. Much smoother. The next thing we're going to do is change the amount of blur that we add to the clips during their transition. First, click in the middle of your timeline. This is to give you an idea what the blur looks like at its highest value. Then just change the blur. I'm going to try 25. You can now see that the maximum blur between the two clips is only about a quarter of what it was before. I actually like the 100% better, but you can change it to whatever you want. And those are the basics of BCC Swish Pan. There are, of course, additional controls that you can use to get a more unique result. For example, changing the blur apply mode to overlay creates a more ghostly kind of transition. So the key is to just play around with all the different settings and find one that you like best. For more help on using this filter, check out the built-in PDF help file that comes with all BCC filters. Or for more information on this and other Boris products, or to download free fully functioning 14-day trial versions, visit our website at www.borisfx.com.